What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the book catching contest and didn't win crud. Actually, we won another Everstone, which is pretty much useful. Probably should have sold that for something, I don't know. But anywho, here we are in uh, Goldenrod yet again, and now it is time to go to the gym. Because, uh, well, we got another badge to win, and I think our Pokemon are at the right level to take on Whitney. If many of you guys already remember, Whitney is very infamous for one thing and one thing only, and that is a big friggin' cow. Normal type Pokemon are looked upon uh, a little bit differently, you know what I mean? Talk to this guy, he's like, yo! Champ in the making. Yeah, the, ga the, the gym is home to normal type Pokemon. I recommend you using fighting type Pokemon. Which is funny because, well, I do have a fighting type Pokemon. And in our last episode, I went into, I want to say, yeah, I went to the Goldenrod uh, department store to try and get the Drain Punch technique. And the funny thing is, it, it does not, it's not compatible with Heracross, so I had to train, uh, well, I had to train Hercules up to level 19 in order for it to learn this move. Yes, Brick Break. Yeah, Brick Break. Yes, it rhymes. And uh, the other thing, too, yeah, we got Thrasher right here. Thrasher does have a uh, double kick. That's another great move that we can actually have. Our strategy is simple, guys. We're going to try and poison the... Well, we're going to try and do everything we can to do some status effects against this uh, Miltank. Now, as you guys may, may remember, Miltank does have does have the move Rollout. Rollout is a very, very messed up move. Very messed up move. I mean, it gains power every single turn if it doesn't miss. I'm just saying. And when it's uh, when it's going for five turns, you, there's no way in heck you're gonna be able to win that match. So be prepared. So what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be battling everybody, making sure we uh, establish our dominance right here. Look at that, double kick for the win, and Centric has been defeated. And there you go, Thrasher grows to level 17. And well, here comes another Centric. So let's go straight for Hercules right here. And hopefully by the end of this episode, we might have Hercules at level 20. I mean, it did train it up to level 19 just to make sure that, you know, it, 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 it fares well in here. So let's go straight for a brick break. Brick break for the win. And there we go. Sentry has been defeated. Alrighty, okay. So look at that. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and use another Pokemon right here. Let's go right ahead and give Cinder a little bit of love because, well, you know, it's been a while since we've used Cinder. And, well, how you doing, Cinder? It's been a while. And, well, here we go. Flame Wheel for the win. And look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that. And Victoria has been defeated. Yes, it's over. So... Let's go right ahead and move on right here. Let's see. We got quite a few trainers. And uh, they don't seem very well. They, like, again, like I, like I was saying in the beginning, guys. Normal type Pokemon are, you know, are laughed upon because they're just normal type Pokemon, okay? Their biggest weakness is fighting type Pokemon. And, uh, yeah. Going into the next gym, which would be in uh, Ecrutex City, it would be useful because, you know, ghost types don't affect it and vice versa. But normal type Pokemon are capable of learning some really messed up moves. Like, you know, elemental moves, such as fire type moves, electric types, you know, ice types, water types, the whole shebang. Yeah, they, they, they know everything. And you don't want that to happen to you. And then when you have a big old rolling cow that traumatizes you for the last, you know, 20 years, yeah, that's going to get to you at some point. And so, here we go, Hercules yet again. We're going to be sharing some experience points. We're going to be doing our thing. Let's go straight for a Brick Break attack. And bam. Brick Break for the win. Look at that. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. Look at that. And Samantha, yes, she has been defeated. Okay, so let's see. 
Yeah, and we're totally earning back our money that we kind of wasted on those prizes uh, over, or the drawing over in the, the, the department store because, well, you know, first prize is usually, what, a 10% chance of getting it? I don't know. I don't know my math. So let's see. I'm gonna try and find my way around here. Oh, yeah, the hole right there. Okay, let's see. Who's next? Who is next in the wrath of, uh, of good old Draven right here? So let's go right here and battle this chick. And she's gonna be like, you shouldn't let your guard down just cause I don't look tough. Mm-hmm, they don't look tough. But here it is, going up against Last Carry, taking on Snubble, and well, eventually going up against a Snubble. Yeah, like I guess a Snubble would, yeah. Fighting type Pokemon will never ever affect Snubble ever again once it turns into a fairy type Pokemon. And look at this. Ooh. Oh wow, Snubble just stuffed it out. And here's a lick attack. And thankfully we did not get paralyzed. Because I am literally coming in here with no healing items or anything like that. Yeah, thanks to the drawing, okay? And just like that, we have defeated Carrie. And we get more monies. Yes. Okay. Who's next? I like cute Pokemon better than strong Pokemon. But I have strong and cute Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's go right ahead and take on another another Alas, and she will be having Jigglypuff. And well, let's see. Let's go with a double kick right here. Let's go. And one and Thrasher does it for the win. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Now the drain punch, the the drain punch technique that I actually got from the department store. The only Pokemon that could learn it was uh, what was it called? Togetic. Funny thing is, Togetic. Uh, holy crud! Togetic's uh, attack really sucks. I mean, it's nature. <laughs> I mean, it's nature. It, it, yeah, it, it's it's messed up. It's nature kind of takes away from its attack. So yeah, it's not gonna happen. It's not really gonna do anything. Any any yeah that yeah it's gonna be a waste of a TM. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be waiting for when you know good old buddy what's his name uh, Nito Nidorino actually evolves and all that stuff, which will be hopefully later on in this episode or not in this episode but later on in this walkthrough right here. So here we go, take it on Jigglypuff. All right, time to take this brick break. And there we go. Come on, Jigglypuff. That's right. For the win. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. Okay. So, it's time. So, one of the biggest things you guys have to keep an eye out for when it comes to Whitney is that in Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver, Whitney does like to use the move Attract. So the biggest thing that you guys need to do is have female Pokemon at the front because that will nullify the Attract technique. This has a 50% chance of rendering the foe unable to attack. And yeah, it only works with the, you know, the opposite gender. So what we're going to do right here for when we take on Miltank, I am going to start off with Heracross right here. And then I'm going to move my way to Fluffold since it's our only female Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and see what she's all about. Hi, I'm Whitney. You! I saw you at the radio tower just now. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. You want a battle? I'm warning you. I'm good. Okay. So here it is, guys. Gym battle number three. And it's against Whitney. Alrighty, look at that. She's jumping up and down, ready to go, and here she comes out with a Clefairy, level 17. Again, Whitney loves to use Attract. We have a male Pokemon, so we have to hit it really quickly. Let's go with a Big Break, and we have to be very fast, too. So here we go, Brick Break for the win. And there you go, Clefairy. No more. Okay, alrighty. I'm going to take my chances. Let's go with Hercules right here. Let's go, Miltank. Bring it on. Just bring it. <laughs> hey, just one left, but I wasn't losing. You here? All right. Brick break for the win, and here comes a stomp attack. So Miltank is a little faster, despite its size, and yes, stomp 
will try and, uh, well, stop will f uh, make you flinch, so just be aware of that. And here we go. Brick break for the win. And that nearly defeats Miltank. And she's like, poor me! All right, one more. And here is the attract attack. And that right there is uh, gonna nullify our attacks, but guess what? Love does not conquer all. That's right. Throwing out that B sign. Suck it, Miltank. <laughs> and there you go. Miltank has been defeated. Hercules grows to level 20. And Whitney is going to start crying. <laughs> That's right. I'm throwing out that B sign, guys. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> she's, yeah, she's calling us a meanie. So let's walk away. The trainer's going to look at this and she's going to be like, oh no, you made Whitney cry. It's okay. She'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. You don't say. Okay, so let's go right ahead and talk to her. <laughs> Stiff! What, what, what do you want? A badge? Alright, I forgot. Here's the plane badge. Throwing out the peace sign, guys. I am throwing out that grabbing peace sign. Yes! The plane badge lets your Pokemon use strength outside of battle. Oh, you can have this too. And we get ourselves the TM45 Attract, which is the same move that was used with uh, no success and all that stuff. Yes. I heard that there's this thing called the Pokathlon Dome. It is now open right next to the National Park. You should try, go try it since you're good. You're so good at battling with your Pokemon. Yeah, totally not going to do that. Not yet, because I've never, ever, 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 and I mean this, I mean this, like, with this, the fullest sincerity of my heart, guys. I've never tried the Pokathlon, and I don't intend to you to do it until later, later on or anything like that, but yeah. Yeah, we, we never tried it, so... There it is, guys. We have defeated Whitney, and I am trying to get out of this gym right here. So, stepping out of the gym, we're getting a phone call from our Maja, and let's see what she has to say. Okay, so hello, I found a useful item. Bought it with your money. Okay. Mom, please, 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 let it be. Please let it be what I think it is. Let's go ahead and go to the department store and see if it's what I hope it is. Because if it's not, then, yeah, we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. So let's go ahead and talk to this gentleman. And he's like, uh, good day, Driven, isn't it? I have a package for you. Here you go. And we get a Payapa Berry. Okay, well. Yeah, I, it's not exactly what I thought it was. But still. Now, before we fin finish off this episode right here, we're going to be going uh, right here. Or not right here. I always get this mistaken. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going straight over to the flower shop right here, the pretty like, like the golden flower shop, a small shop providing lots of beauty. Let's go right here and talk to this lady. She's like, apparently there's an odd tree at Route 36. They say that's is when you water it. Oh, that's a play match from the Goldenrod Gym. Did you defeat Whitney? Well, then there's nothing to worry about, is there? Let uh, I'll let you use the squirt bottle for a while then. Oh, never mind. Keep it. There it is. Got ourselves a squirt bottle, and well. <laughs> The next job is we got to go back to Route 35, I believe. So I'll be right back with you. We're going to skip through all of this just to get there. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are back in Route 35. And, well, after defeating Whitney for the third badge, you are able to come here and talk to this girl. She's going to be like, uh, I'm the flower shop's Floria. Listen, listen. When I sprinkled water on the wiggly tree, it jumped right up. It just has to be a Pokemon. If you soak it, well, yeah. Oh, that's a squirt bottle. Soak it. Uh, soak the tree for me. I, I, I want to see what happens. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to soak this so-called tree. And yes, we're going to start off with uh, Flappy right here. Yes, I know. I know it is an electric type Pokemon. But there is a very, very good strategy with this guy. I am not going to... Well, I'm not going to be able to hit it with, uh, you know, with Thunder Wave or Thunder Shock. But... Instead, it will do well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and lower this guy's stance right here. While it physically hits me. So there we go. Cotton Spore severely uh, lowers its speed. And here comes a Mimic attack. Seriously. And it just copied my cop Cotton Spore. So, yeah. WTF. Okay, so there we go. Cotton Spore yet again. And here comes a Rock Throw. That is not a physical move. Okay, so let's go with a Flash attack. Okay, so we're harshly 
Yeah, we're taking out your speed, and yeah, this guy does is not going. Yeah, it's not going with a physical attack right here. So that is not going to be good. Let's go straight for Togepri right here, and Togepri. Let's do this. Oh wow, Flail would have done it. Holy crud! Sweet. Okay, so let's go with a sweet, uh, sweet kiss. And you are now confused, my good friend. So hopefully you won't faint on me with this whole confusion. And the flail attack right here hits us. Uh, well, it doesn't really hit us that hard. So let's go with a metronome attack right here. And really? Oh my god. Okay, so its attack has risen. Sudowoodo is still. Wow. You know what? Screw it. We're just gonna switch our Pokemon and, and hope for the best if it physically hits Fluff Bolt. I was really, really looking forward to paralyzing this Pokemon, and come on. Come on, and low kick. Okay, so that right there is a physical attack, and that does not paralyze this goddamn Pokemon. Okay, so. Yeah. Alright, let's go with Thrasher. Yes, it is a, a, a huge. It is a huge risk using Thrasher here, and it snapped out of its. Yeah, it snapped out of its uh, confusion right here. So. Oh, that rock. That rock throw is going to hit us hard, so let's see. Double kick could kill it. So let's go with the peg attack. That's nothing. Okay. Yeah, we're really, uh, we really didn't think this through. And yes, you are poisoned, my friend. So, yeah, we're going to have to try and capture this Pokemon before it faints. Okay, so let's see. Switch out our Pokemon. Huh. Yeah, let's go with Lucky right here. All right, bring it on. Okay, so here comes another rock throw. I'm gonna let Pseudo Wudo easily kill itself. Not so much. There we go. And you know what? We're gonna just throw Pokeballs at it. So let's see. Uh, what kind of a ball would it actually be able to? You know what? It's 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 heavy. Okay. Let's go with the heavy ball. I did not mean to press that button. And there it is, throwing out the peace sign. We caught Pseudo Wudo with a friggin' heavy ball. Okay. Alrighty, so that is a success, as you, as you guys can see, Sudowoodo, the Intimidation Pokemon, it's a Rock-type Pokemon, although it always pretends to be a tree, its, its composition appears more similar than ro uh, to rock than vegetation, so it's basically a fossilized tree. No, I am not going to nickname this Pokemon. I don't know why I would have this Pokemon as a, as a Pokemon on my team. That was fun. I want to give you this uh, for entertaining me, and we got ourselves a Berry Pot. That right there, I believe, let's see, you can grow, yeah, you can grow any berry from any region with no worries. That's right, I'll give you some berries too. Berry pots won't do, uh, won't do any good without berries, and there we go, we got ourselves some Oran berries alongside the berries we want with the, yeah, the, the berries that we want in the, whatchamacallit, the, the, the drawing contest and whatever. Okay, so yes, we have to go to, we have to go to Ecrutech, or Ecrutech, but before we do that, Talk to this gentleman, uh, gentleman. let's see, uh, okay, and should think carefully, okay, uh, there's somebody here that would give us something, who are you, oh crap baskets, so this is Arthur of Thursday, <laughs> oh, buckets, I was trying to save this for last time, but I guess this is what it is, so if you find, if you're on a Thursday guys, this is Arthur of Thursday, and uh, yeah, <laughs> He will be able to give you the Hardstone, which is a a good a, a good item for Rock type Pokemon. And let's see, if you use a Rock type moves, you should be able to give that to your Pokemon. It raises the strength of Rock type moves. So there you go, guys. We found Arthur of Thursday. Now we got six more people to go. And well, let's see. If you talk to this one, yes, it was a Pokemon. Okay. And if you follow the path from here, you can reach Ecrutic City. Yeah. Okay. So we finally did it, guys. And well, we're gonna be going to Ecrutec City right now. Let's uh, let's go ahead and speed through the battles. Here we are in round 37. You're gonna be finding some stuff right here, like some some pretty good Pokemon. I believe Growlithe is one of these Pokemon. Stantler is another Pokemon that you could find right here. And <laughs> yeah, no. But off screen, I will be trying to capture these Pokemon right here. So let's see. Let's go with the Pokemon that didn't battle, and see this Pokemon trainer. 
Pokemon can't do a thing if they are asleep. I'll show you how scary that is. Okay, let's go. Here it is, taking on Psychic Greg with one Pokemon. So we're gonna speed this through. Going with the flame wheel attack. And yes, he put us to sleep. Oh wow, he's using Dream Eater. Come on. There we go, for the win. And yes, he's, he showed me, he really did show me, but it wasn't scary. And yes, we're gonna be finding some more Pokemon right here. And this one is a Pidgey. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty, so let's go ahead and just move on ahead right here. Okay, so if I can only move up. Here, we f here, here we're gonna be finding some three trees. These are apricorn trees. And every single day you'll have quite a few apricorns to get picked out of. And what my goal is, I'm trying to pick them out so I can actually make some Pokeballs. Some extra Pokeballs, like the Heavy Ball I used to capture Pseudo Wudo, because you may never know when they come in handy. I mean, in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, they do become... I, I believe they do become a little bit more effective than what they did in uh, Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, so... Just be aware of that, guys. And then, uh, let's see. We got one Super Potion. We should probably use that. And who needs it? You know, Hercules did a good job, but we need Thresher to get up to level 20, so... There we go. Yeah, good old Draven needs to stock up on some, uh... Some items. Stop being screwed over with, uh, you know, the, the contests and all that stuff. Let's go right ahead and battle these trainers. Let's battle! Alright, I'm bringing out a, a Pokemon. Okay, so here we go, guys. Taking on some new trainers, Tori and Tilly. And... Well, look at that. They're coming out with some pretty good Pokemon, Meryl and Mareeb. So, let's go right ahead and speed this through. Flame Wheel is a huge risk. Let's go with an Ember on Mareep and then... Double Kick onto that guy. And there we go. And here we go, finishing off this Pokemon. Yeah, everybody's trying to defeat this guy. And just like that, we have defeated the Twins. Yes. Okay, so let's move on. Here we have... Well, it's not gonna be a double battle, right? Oh, you're you're a cute little trainer. Why don't you battle me? Oh, it is a double battle, finally. Hey, hey, hey there, you young trainer. You want, why don't you battle with me too? Okay. So, here we go, taking on two more trainers, Beauty Kelly and Beauty Cassandra. Both having... Two Pokemon, and well, would you look at that? They have evolved forms. Fully evolved forms. Holy crud baskets. This is scary. Okay. Challenge accepted. Here we go. Double kick. Finish off Clefable. And the Metro. What the hell? The hell what kind of. That's the first time I've ever seen that move. Magma Storm? That's kind of a messed up move right there. And there we go. Why can't we have that? Why can't I have luck like that with Me with Metrodome? No, why do why do I <laughs> why do my opponents get the better moves? Holy crud! Okay, so let's go with Flame Wheel, Double Kick. This is not fair. And there we go. Thresher grows to level 19. And here we go again. Flame Wheel for the win. And there you go. Cinder grows to level 25. And Cassandra and Callie are not happy right now. <laughs> yes. Okay, so our mother has called us, and of course, she will have another item for us since, you know, she's been using our money to buy stuff. And before we end this episode, we're going to be checking it out. So here it is, guys, Ecrotex City. Two things you, well, a few things that you need to take, uh, keep an eye out for. One, go into the Pokemon Center. You enter the Pokemon Center, you're going to be seeing this individual walk around. And would you look at this? Hi, I'm Bill. And you are? Hmm, Draven, huh? You know what? I'm the one who developed the, the system to transfer Pokemon. But it wouldn't, uh, it couldn't have been done by me alone. For example, do you know the Hoenn region? This girl, Lynette from uh, Hoenn, made the Pokemon storage system easier to use. My friends all over the world are working together to improve the Pokemon trade and storage system. I have to hurry back to Goldenrod to see my folks. Bye-bye. Okay, alrighty. So that's one. And, uh, well, let's see what kind of, uh, item did our mom get. Before we, before we end this episode, come on, please, please let it be something good. Alright, homeboy. Give me the goods. Good day, package to you, and we get ourselves a super potion. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thanks, mom. 
Yeah, you know, a moonstone would suffice. But yeah, you know, yeah, it's it is what it is. It is what it is. Anywho, guys, uh, well, I'm gonna stop the episode right here. In the next one, I don't want to spoil everything. We got a lot of stuff to cover. It's gonna be fun. Very, very fun. Anywho, thank you guys for being patient as always. Thank you guys for watching and liking. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, the heart button's right there. Other than that, I will see you next week for another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. See you guys.